Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen and it is time for July's MTB Slam. Uh, I'm pretty excited. It's been kind of a tough week though. It's been really hot uh, and miserable, <laughs> but um, I think I have enough, I, an understanding of what's going on this lake. This is only the third time that I've fished this lake. And, uh, and so I don't know a whole lot about it, but uh, I hope I can find some, some fish, you know, and be able to catch some fish today. But uh, the twist for today, as you guys know, last month, um, uh, Tackle Junkie 81 challenged me to uh, do my MTB slam from the bank. And so we kind of took that as a mutual challenge. He did it and I did it. And that's kind of what, what we're doing. Kind of putting a twist to it and making it a little bit more exciting. Um, so today I was my turn to make the challenge. So, or this month, I challenged him and to four hours. You got four hours to do the MTB slam. Why I did that to myself in July, I have no clue. Our water temperatures uh, yesterday on this lake were uh, high 80s. And so, and uh, the, sir, the, the uh, air temperature has been pretty close to 100 uh, every day. So it's just hot and miserable. So I'm gonna try to get it done four hours this morning and, uh, and see what happens. So let's break into the box. What the mystery tackle box is, turn it right side up. It's a, it's a monthly subscription based product if you've never heard of it. Um, you can get a, uh, your first box for $4.99. Uh, I'll put the code right up here. Uh, and after that, it's about $15 a box. If you, if you subscribe for a full year, it's like 13 something it ends up being. Don't quote me on that, I'm not good with numbers. But anyway, and so they send you a box of tackle and uh, you don't get to pick what's in the box. Uh, you're, I've only had one out of the two years I've been doing this uh, that has kind of disappointed me, but most of them are, are really, really good. You always have hard baits, you always have soft plastics, um, and, uh, and sometimes hooks and things like that. And they throw all this stuff in the box, they send it to you, and it gives you the opportunity to try out new stuff, perhaps find a new uh, bait that you have a lot of confidence in. So let's break into the box. I've already popped it open with my keys. Uh, just to, to speed things up because I couldn't find my pocket knife. But, uh, all right. Uh, oh, wow. I've <laughs> been catching the fish 18 feet deep. Square bill, sh shallow runner, uh, three to four feet. Uh, may have to play around with that one a little bit. Got a couple of ideas. Uh, this is a, let me get the card out so I don't, so I do this right. Uh, this is a uh, Threadfin Shad bait, bait Ball Square Bill by Live Target. Pretty cool little bait. I've never never thrown a, a bait ball by, uh, by Live Target. I've always looked at them and everything else, and they're $15.99. You guys know me and crankbaits. They're out of my price range. I don't believe in throwing crankbaits that are over $10. Bucks. Um, let's see. The second one was the, is the Big Bite Bait Swimming Craw and watermelon might be able to do something with that trying to get my confidence level up today <laughs> the ring this is a new bait out of the market it's the bonehead tackle ringworm it's eight a dollar eighty a pack the swimming cross 233 a pack okay it's in june bug it's pretty cool it's got a it's got the little zipper style body with a ribbon tail it kind of feels like good tough plastic so it acts like it's gonna feels like it's gonna last a while eh, fish right behind me um let's see eight inch attacker needle from bass attacker dollar thirty for a four pack let's see what it is this is an eight inch eight inch Eight inch, ah. Don't put an eight inch bait in a small bag like this. Look what happens to it. Kinks it up, and now the way you get this kink out is you boil some water on the stove and dip it in there for a few seconds, pull it back out, lay down on a towel, and let it, let it cool off, and it'll cool off straight. But uh, word of warning to the company. Uh, you make an eight inch worm, pack it in an eight inch bag. Um, that way, I know packaging is a little more expensive, but that way they stay straight, and that's kind of important. Let's see what we can do with that. I hate to be picky. Uh, the next one is a swinging rugby jig, three-quarter ounce by VMC, $5.99 for a two-pack. 
It's a swinging football head on an EWG. Uh, pretty cool. Probably put the craw on that. Drag it around. This is this lake's full of hard bottom, so it'll be all right. And the bait mate live bass. Where's that at? It's all the way in the bottom. It's a fish attractant. Got a little coupon code right up here for a dollar. Cool. It's from uh, I guess the company's bait mate. Yep. All right, and then the rest of the stuff in the box. You get a little match the hat scratch off. You match three of them uh, and you win a prize. I mean, they're great prizes, you know, rods, reels. Uh, they had one, I don't know if it's this month or not, but they had, um, you could win a Lawrence fish finder. I mean, just cool stuff like that. And it's usually in on the, your prize is usually on the bottom, bottom of there. And then the Dibbles, Dibble Digest. Now, I already know what's on the cover because you guys sent it to me. But uh, I made the front cover of Dibble Digest. That's pretty cool. That's an awesome drawing. I'm going to frame that. Um, of course, my wife already told me she was going to frame it. But uh, there's some good articles in it. There's one by me about, uh, about summertime fishing. Um, five summer spots you, can, you can't pass up. Uh, this has been a lot of fun to write those things. And your coupon book code and then... Uh, a chrome sticker so that's mr tackle box uh let me go ahead and i'm gonna scratch do a little scratch off then i'm gonna um tie it all on some rods and go see if i can catch some fish let's see all right so i scratched it off and i didn't win but i would have won a denali rods in two series rod that's pretty cool um i played around with some denali rods at a at ICAST last week, it was they really they really do feel good. Um, I'm pretty I was pretty impressed with those rods. There were a lot of really good rods and reels and products and stuff on at uh, at ICAST that are coming out. So it was pretty cool to see. But that's pretty cool. One of these days I'll win. All right, guys, let me show you how I have them rigged up. All right, to start off with, um, I have the uh, VMC Swim and Rugby jig head. Paired with the Big Bites uh, Swimming Crawl. Three quarter ounce, which is perfect because I'm fishing deep, deep pumps, deep points, everything else around here. So fish have all been deep. Uh, I've got it paired with a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod. Uh, this is a custom deal some guy made for me with a loose tournament light. Uh, pretty good combo. Uh, I think this is a seven, seven something to one. But, uh, Got the little G on there. A uh, friend of mine made it from, uh, I think it's called FDX Custom Rods or TDX Custom Rods. Uh, I'm just testing this one out for him. But anyway, that's how I got that rigged up. And then I uh, got the drop on the drop shot. I have the Bass Attacker Worm, nine inch worm on a drop shot. I'm not scared of throwing big long worms on a drop shot. Half ounce weight so I can get it down real fast. Uh, it's on a Dobbins Fury series. This is the new, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the new Fury series. Uh, this is a FR 701 or 702 SF medium light action drop shot rod. Uh, really have enjoyed this. Uh, I've got it paired with a Lose, uh, a, uh, Team Lose. I think it's a gold, yeah, gold spinning rod 2000 series. So I got that on a drop shot. And then the third rod I rigged up was the um, was the bait ball from Live Target. And yes, that's right, I've got it on a Carolina rig. If you can't get a bait down, <laughs> if you got a shallow running crankbait and you want to catch them deep, put it on a Carolina rig. So what that'll do is that'll be dragged on the bottom and this will float up. So every time I drag it, it'll come down and it'll float up. And so we'll see how that works. I haven't thrown a Carolina or a crankbait on a Carolina rig in a long time. It is on a Daiwa Tatula seven foot two medium heavy rod. Um, it is um, paired with a Tatula reel uh, Type R. Good setup, great Carolina rig rod. We'll see how this thing casts on the Carolina rig. <laughs> Might be pretty interesting the first couple of casts. And then uh, with the bonehead uh, tackle, I'm either gonna end up putting that on the Carolina rig or I'm gonna put it on the drop shot, probably the Carolina rig. Um, we'll see how that works. And then I took the lubricant, one of the clean ways to do this, you guys, when you get these bags, 
or you get these boxes and they have the bait mate fish attract in it just rip it open put the whole thing down in the bag seal it up and then squish it out and let it get into the worms so kind of a clean way of doing it so you don't get it all over your boat or all over your tackle box or whatever so that's it that is how i got it rigged up let me make sure i'm not forgetting anything looks like i got it all i've got to catch one two three four fish i haven't caught four fish in two days <laughs> Wish me luck. Let's have some fun. All right. It is now 7.18. We've got four hours. So at 11.18, I am done. There's one right there. Awesome. Switched the square bill over to a cranking rod and started running the shallow banks. Figured the sun wasn't out yet. Let's get ah. Anyway, that was a fish. He was just barely hooked. Let me throw it back over here so I can catch another one. And I was just bouncing the bottom on this little shallow point that sticks out. I knew I should have got him in the boat, but I wanted to describe what I was fishing or how I'd change things. That's one. I'm gonna count that. It's only four hours. <laughs> Had him at the boat. This ain't no tournament. I don't have to take him to weigh in. <laughs> Couldn't have landed that more perfect in that rock. Hey, fish ain't up there. <laughs> Going fishing for the elusive rock dauber. And I think I caught a big one. Him. Take it, take it, take it. Ah, oh, I missed him. Probably took my whole freaking worm. Ah, oh, crap. Man. There's one. I'm going to let him take it a minute. Uh, come on. Don't put swimming off or what? Bluegill. <sighs> That's it. Time's up. I tried. I tried. I got one to the boat and I got bit on everything in the box. But I couldn't find one that would cooperate. All right, let's sit down and talk about the day. All right, well, let's talk about the day. It was tough. Um, I caught that first one shallow on the square bill. I first tied this on a Carolina rig and it worked great, felt good, everything else. But uh, I, just with the cloud cover and everything else, I decided I'd go hit shallow banks. And it wasn't long after that I got bit on this. So this is the bait ball uh, square bill uh, by Live Target. It's pretty good. Nice little fish, got it to the boat and shook off. Should have been a little bit more careful. Grief, I try to start talking and everybody decides they want to show up. Anyway. But like I said, I got bit on everything. Um, 
the uh, the swimming crawl I pitched it into a log and got bit and lost a claw <laughs> lost a claw probably a bluegill but man I don't know I don't know the bass were shallow so and the next one was the bonehead tackle ringworm put it on a Carolina rig or I ended up putting it on that Carolina rig that I took off. And uh, got bit on a point, set the hook and there wasn't anything there. I mean, it was a good bite too, nice big thump. So, the way my day goes, I would have done anything for a green pumpkin tr worm. Uh, this is ultra, ultra clear water, and, uh, which requires some really uh, natural colors. But this was originally my drop shot worm, and I got bit on it. Dropped it down on a school of fish, and it got bit, and uh, set the hook, and it came back with no worm. And uh, kind of the cool thing I did is, and you can't tell until it gets in the water, is I dipped the back half of this worm in uh, some methylate JJ's Magic. Man, still smells like garlic. And it changed it to a light color pink when it gets in the water. Pretty cool little color. Um, and I think that's why it got bit. Dropped it right down on that school. They were about 10 feet deep over 20, 25, 30 foot of water. Shook it and got bit. And then I tried to put it on a shaky head because I started pitching docks and uh, just didn't work. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the company, I mean, it's got the company probably with the bag thing probably has larger bags, but they were trying to save money uh, for mystery tackle box is what I'm what I'm guessing and just put it in a smaller bag but this thing has some great action I mean for a drop shot worm for a shaky head I mean it's got anything you want to shake it's got great action that little tail uh, I mean it's it's it dances let me find my little card it's the uh, attacker needle by bass attacker so really a cool deal it's an eight inch worm and I like long worms uh, the swinging rugby I put on the crawfish, drug it around a little bit. Uh, it's got a bunch of dings in the paint, but the paint held up. I drug it along rocks all day. So I ended up dipping the claws in some methylate. And what that green color turns, the claws actually turn to orange. You can't, like I said, you can't tell until it gets in the water, but the claws turn to orange color. Green pumpkin and, and watermelon do that. And then the bait mate live bass. Excuse me, goodness, I must not have slept good last night. But the Baitmate Live Bass is uh, is the attractant that I put on the uh, ringworm, the bonehead tackle ringworm. But uh, I was impressed with that little ringworm. I mean, it's tough. It's got it's got a little bit thicker plastic or um, stiffer plastic than I'm used to, and I'm pretty sure that thing will be good and tough. So see how you put the Baitmate down in there and it doesn't get everything messy. But let's see how old Jimmy does uh, on Tackle Junkie 81. Uh, check out how he did on his video. I'll put the link down at the bottom when he gets done with his. Um, or I'll, I'll put it where it pops up on the screen somewhere. And, uh, and go over there, check out his channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, he, uh, he has some great tutorials and he does some, some pretty good work. And, uh, and uh, he's become a pretty good friend of mine. So... But if you haven't seen the Mystery Tackle Box, never tried it out, you can get your first box for $4.99. I'll put the code right here. Uh, go check it out. And like I always say, take somebody fishing, introduce them to the sport we enjoy. And uh, then, sh you know, show them my videos so I can help you teach them how to fish. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video uh, and tell your friends about it. Thanks. Take care. Have a great day. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, I'm going to be doing a live hangout. Uh, I'm going to try to do it the Thursday right after I launch the MTB Slam video or the one right after that. It all depends on what my schedule is. It's been kind of crazy lately. That's why I haven't been able to do it. But I'm going to be doing a live hangout and we're going to be talking about the Mystery Tackle Box and um, kind of discussing, basically using the, the stuff in the Mystery Tackle Box to start a discussion, to come up with ideas for the discussion and just talk about it. So pretty cool. Kind of like a teaching session. So pretty awesome.